Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the major HIT-145N. This is the hardware installation tool, HIT-145N. That's for the Schlage AD series cylindrical locks, is what it's for. And here it is. This entire template weighs about, just on, just shy, I should say, of about 10 pounds. So it's quite, uh, it's quite massive and heavy, uh, considering the fact that it's made mostly of aluminum, but a lot of hardened steel bushings are here. So the AD cylindrical lock is a pretty easy one to prep in the sense that uh, you've got these obligatory six holes that are here, that are here. According to the manufacturer's template, you'll need that three quarter inch hole there as well. So you're going to drill seven holes through the door for sure. If you're adding a door position switch, you're going to add this hole in the edge. And then this hole that is here, okay, you can see the light as it comes through there. That hole actually comes down at a 50 degree angle to meet that three quarter inch prep so the wiring can pass through uh, properly. Um, let's take some basic dimensional properties of the item, then we'll talk about what it's used for. Overall height of the face, looks like it's about 10 and 3 eighths or so. The edge of the door, it's about 12 and an eighth inch, something in that range. This is going to be adjustable for different door thicknesses. You're going to realistically be able to get yourself you know, inch and three quarter thick door. I don't know how much more you're going to get out of it. I don't think it's going to go really any thicker than that. By the time those two plates leave each other with the adjusting bolt that's here, yeah, you're, you're going to get to two inch. Um, you know, I don't know how the manufacturers, you know, what Schlage does for unusual door thicknesses. Um, that's just a trip into their catalog to see what uh, the door range is. Um, we're just going to assume, because this is, this is not a Schlage video, that it will handle whatever thicknesses that this lock is generally available in. Um, so it's pretty simple and straightforward. You have, uh, you know, these two washers that are in the back here. Actually, I'll remove the plate so we can take a closer look at the inside of the assembly. That's the washer. There's one on each side, and that's going to fit into your 2 and an eighth inch hole that you have. And then, of course, that bolt holds it all together. Okay, So this is a really simple and straightforward template. Uh, let's talk about now uh, what you're going to use it for. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So clearly you have Schlage AD series locks that you need to do the function holes for. That's why you're going to use this template. Uh, if it's a matter of drilling one or two doors, you know, um, are you going to buy the template? Me having a background in actually drilling the holes in all types of doors, metal doors, wood doors, etc., having done it, you know, time beyond count, um, I would be hesitant to order the template if I have just a one-off scenario. I may be in the minority view, though, uh, with that opinion, because I'm comfortable laying out the, the function holes, uh, measuring everything according to the back side of the door and how to measure that, drilling from each side of the door and doing so accurately. It's just based on practice. Uh, I have certainly made my share of mistakes. However, there are times when that's not really how this is going to happen, perhaps for your project, because you're going to need to take the box and say, do it, um, to someone who may not have any experience uh, in, uh, in a shop setting drilling function holes. And this is not the door that we want to experiment on, so to speak. So that's really the other side of where I'll sell these templates. It's because you want to uh, delegate the work to someone who may not be a, a journeyman carpenter or may not be able to interpret templates, may not speak the language that the template is written in, uh, not really the words, but may not understand um, you know, the dimensions that are used. Someone might understand you know, the metric system, and this is an imperial, however it is. 
Uh, so why you might buy the template for a small batch of doors or door that you'll do is because you need to ritualize the process. You know, it's simple. Clamp it on, drill the holes, you're done. There's nothing else to do. Because you're doing it from each side of the door, it's really hard to make a mistake. And quite frankly, with this lock, if you don't have a door position switch, you ignore this. Okay, And all you do, put a drill bit into all of the holes that you see here, and you're going to have that door done to the template. You don't have to think. You don't have to know. You just have to drill, and you have to know how to use your tool to do that. Um, certainly, if you are doing a job more than a small quantity of doors, it absolutely makes sense to do this. By the time you're doing two doors, the template's really going to pay off. And it's not that uh, it's difficult to drill holes, but you're taking time to measure everything. You're taking time to double check those measurements because you don't want to be off. Drill additional holes for the door that are, on, are not necessary or holes that won't be covered, uh, uh, errant holes that won't be covered by the lock itself. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a tour through the installation instructions that come with this, the template from the manufacturer, the installation instructions from the manufacturer as well, more so to do a reality check. Does this all make sense what I'm prepping and what I'm drilling. So let's do that now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at here, the HIT Hardware Installation Tool 145N. Let's take a look at the images that are linked down below here. That's the box. That's everything that you get. The template, this bushing we'll talk about in a moment, the Allen wrench to tighten up your installation onto the door, your installation instructions, a little closer view of the template itself, the end of the template, one side of the template, the opposite side of the template. Those are the aligning washers that will fit into your two and an eighth inch hole. The other side of the template, Nothing to see here. That's just the aligning washers. Okay, let's see. Front side, the back side. Looking down from the top, looking at that door position switch block and the guide, and then this bushing, and then your Allen wrench that you'll get with all of this material. Okay, so let's take a look at the extended description at this time. It's a drill guide for the Schlage AD cylindrical lock. Now, there are different versions of the AD lock, mortise, exit device. This is for cylindrical locks. This unit through bolts to the door using an existing 2 and 8 inch crossbore for alignment. The beauty of this template is you don't have to worry about the accuracy of any of the drilled of the uh, seven drilled holes. Uh, it, it does take for granted that you've positioned the vertical height of the 2 and 8 inch hole accurately, however. So be mindful of that. All required mounting and function holes, including the door position switch and the door edge, are located with hardened drill bushings. There are drill bushings on both sides of the template to allow drilling from either side of the door. I find with these, dr uh, these drill bushings, if you are drilling straight in and out, in and out, and you're not putting, you're not trying to insert the bit at an angle at all and not wear out those bushings, you will get countless operations out of these drill bushings you um, you know if you're if you take your time and you're patient with it and you're just moving in and out pushing and pulling straight you're gonna have a serious uh, longevity to this tool standard drill guide will accommodate doors up to two inch thick there you go with a two and three quarter inch back set they probably don't make a two and three eighths version of this uh, of the AD lock. If they did, that would be relatively easy enough to handle. I don't know if they do. Um, let's take a look if they do. As I'm in the manufacturer's um, website here, filtering to take a look at the installation instructions, that's a, or the, oh, don't want a case study, I want a catalog. Schlage category electronic locks series AD model ADCY for cylindrical. We'll leave the function blank.
So that has not proven to be successful. Let's go to the Schlage Electronics um, manufacturer's page within our site, and we're going to be able to take a look at that catalog. Schlage Electronics Access Control Catalog. We'll let that load. AD-200, that would be a good function for this. Okay, the AD series, uh, that's for exit devices, so there would be no function of a latch bolt there. AD-200 standalone. Okay, the how to order, right, they, they do not offer a 2 and 3 eighths for that. Not to say that another 2 and 3 eighths latch bolt wouldn't work for this. It's possible that one would, probably from the D series or the ND series. Um, that would be, that would carry its own problems uh, in the sense of it ultimately working compatibly and then, of course, installing it on a fire door uh, would, would, would not be um, permissible technically because it's not the 13049 latch that you're putting on. So they don't have a 2 and 3 eighths which makes um, sense as to why they're saying two and three quarter back set. Drill position switch drill guide will center on an inch and three quarter thick door. What they're saying there is this is screwed attached to the unit itself to center on an inch and three quarter thick door. Um, you know, if your door is not inch and three quarter thick, I don't really see why it would matter. Uh, obviously your door position switch is not going to be in the center of the thickness of the door. Um, if it would me, I would certainly want it centered on the thickness of the door, but there's no way to cheat this template to move it over uh, to give you an additional eighth of an inch. This is attached to this template here. Um, you know, you might just need to freehand that if you're, if you're doing two inch thick doors. Um, or if you're doing... Uh, plastic laminate doors. Uh, if you take an inch and three quarter thick door and you add laminate to it, your door is going to be thicker than inch and three quarter when you put a caliper on it. Or if you're doing, you know, 14 gauge steel stiffened steel doors, it's not going to be inch and three quarter. Those doors are going to be inch and seven eighths. Um, so w will a sixteenth of an inch off center matter? Uh, I would think the answer is absolutely not. Would I personally insist on drilling it in the center? I would. Um, I'm also glutton for punishment. So that's the manufacturer's image. Now we have the product brochure we'll get to in a moment. The installation instructions are here and let's dive in to those. What's nice about the installation instructions that come with the major items, okay, is that they are written on several pages and that's because there's lots of pictures and very large font used and we say thank you to them for creating the large font. The first page is your cover page. Okay. The second page is, hey, wait a minute. Eye protection, ear protection, ear, uh, eye protection, lung protection, wear a mask, um, keep the particulate out of your chest, and uh, ear protection naturally. They define the different drill bits that are in play here because they're going to refer to them as a brad point bit or a hole saw, so they're going to use those terms, or a twist drill bit. So they're telling you what, what they are here. So for use with the 145, you're going to need the 2 and an eighth inch hole. Um, you got to put that at the proper height. Then they're showing you the template, what it consists of. They're saying that there are alignment washers on the inside, and when you clamp that down to your door, the alignment washers will sit in your 2 and an eighth inch holes. Install both templates down to the door. Pretty simple and straightforward. Do not overly tighten this. There's no reason to crank it down. We don't want to make any micro impressions on the face of the door. We don't want to leave any marks here. Um, you never know, you know, someone's going to stain and seal that door before the hardware goes on. And if they then see evidence of some sort of scarring that you've done to the door because you over tighten the template, um, that could be a cause for concern uh, for someone, most certainly. So it needs to be snug, but nothing beyond that. And the word snug is literally used. Now, uh, once you have it snug on the door, drill all, sorry, drill all of the 716 holes needed 
There are six of them. Four at the top, two at the bottom. Drill halfway through the door, go to the other side of the door, and then complete the hole. That's what we want you to do. Drill in, pull the chips out, drill in, pull the chips out. If you're lucky enough to have someone there with you, have them with a shop vac, collecting all that dust as you're creating it. Um, that's always really nice and handy. Drill through the door, going halfway, pull out several times. Then, now they say if you're adding a door position switch, drill the three quarter inch hole through the door. That's, if you're adding a drill position switch, I think that that line is in the wrong section. It should be down here on page five. And that's because the installation instructions um, clearly indicate the existence of that hole Regardless. Now, if you're adding a, drill, a door position switch, you need that three quarter inch hole to get through the door. The problem is you have other wires that need to go through there as well. Um, and that's where those are going through. Uh, and what I mean to say is the exterior of the lock needs to communicate with the interior of the lock where your batteries are located. So that cable has to run through there. Okay. A door position switch, and if you're, uh, and then. Um, you know, if you're going to be, what's the sense of the door position switch if it's not wired back to access control? So you're going to um, possibly need to do a raceway if, if your door position switch, if your functionality requires it. Um, so that three quarter inch hole is going to need to be there. Now looking at the template that they have, um, the template also does not differentiate. You, you have the three quarter inch hole. It doesn't say for door position only, where it does in the edge of the door, where you drill for a door position switch. That's the wood door template. The steel door template is the second page, and this is linked to down below as well. Okay, Three quarter inch diameter through hole. If you've got an AD300 lock, that goes through the raceway. If you're adding the door position switch, you're going to feed that back down from your door position switch down here. In a metal door, that's probably that cavity is going to be uh, wide open. Would be would be my guess. Okay, so no problem feeding the wire through there. So the point is, is I think this line is out of uh, is, is not where it belongs. Drill a three quarter inch hole through the door using the drill guide in the center of the template. Use a hole saw or a twist drill on a wood door or a steel door. A brad point bit can be used on a wood door. Now, if you've got the drill position switch, this is where you need to um, just take a quick look. The hole in the door edge for the DPS needs to be three quarter inch, and that's where you're drilling right here. Inch and a half deep. Don't drill it excessively deep. Um, mark off you know, the bit and how deep it projects into the bushing, into the guide, and then mark off an additional inch and a half. Use a twist or brad point drill in the door. For best results in a steel door, use the supplied 15 16 drill adapter and a 5 16 drill bit. Then you use a uni bit, like this they call it, or a step drill to increase that to 3 quarter inch. The reason they're saying that is when you're drilling in the edge of a steel door and you're going in with a 3 quarter inch bit, I've never been a real fan of the final size that you get because that hole is not a perfect circle. And you have better control over it when you're just removing it more incrementally like you would on a step drill. Um, they're, they're good drills to have. You don't end up using them very often. You, if you are in a shop, you need to own one because you will find an instance where, oh, that step drill would be really great here. Um, you know, so there you go. Uh, don't use a hole saw on the edge. They don't say why, but my experience tells me why. Uh, well, they do actually tell us. You will end up with an oversized hole and a poor fun a friction fit for the switch. Yeah, the those holes come out a little, a little elongated, a little ellipsed. Then you will need an extra long drill bit to drill the angle hole from the edge of the door to the uh, three-quarter inch cross bore. And the point is that it looks like it's unusual to drill into this, but when you enter with the bit, you're going to be entering in this cavity here. So you're not going to be creating an additional hole that you don't require per the template. That hole is going to come, it's better on the wood 
template here. You can see here where it just completely comes through our hole. You know, a good 12 inch length aircraft extension bit would be good for this. Eight inch would probably be good. When drilling this angled hole, be sure to pull the bit out completely out of the guide and remove chip buildup. Drill a half of an inch at a time, clear out the chips, uh, duplicate that procedure. That will produce a clean hole and a longer drill bit life. And voila, you have it. And in the words of major manufacturing, that's all there is to it. That's page six. So we've gone over the installation instructions. We've gone over the template. We've gone over the manufacturer's installation instructions. Now let's take a look at that product brochure that's here. Now this is a section from their full line catalog of the HIT series material. Different templates or guides that you're going to use for dr drilling different holes. Obviously we're doing function holes for cylindrical locks here for Sergeant 10 line, etc. Best Sergeant 6500 series, Unican 6000, um, etc. You see where we're going with all of this. Screw together or clamp on, bolt together templates, standalone products. You don't need any other accessories for this. Not a clamp system, no adapters, no additional items. Um, and the HIT 145 or the HIT 1, the HIT 1 series um, gives you a lot of functionality. But it's not the only uh, way to go about doing this sort of work. Although it might be with the Schlage AD series. I don't know if they have templates for their uh, HIT 66 clamp system, but we'll take a look at that in a moment. Well, let's look at it now. So this, th these six pages are handy. You can review those to find out if the function of the lock that you want to prep is available. The CO series is one that we've got a video on as well. Now there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When you click on that, you'll be able to pull up not only all of the major products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog as seen here. Now that full product catalog is what you're going to want to take a look at. So we're going to take a look for, first of all, let's scroll through, give you an idea of what this all looks like. The major catalog is full of uh, tools, installation aids that the locksmith, the door shop, the field installer, the contractor would all find very valuable. There are pages of security hardware listed here that I will leave to you to discover. And as we scroll through, you can see different images of items um, that you might find very useful. Security strikes, armor fronts, um, armored um, strike plates, um, reinforcing plates, things of that nature, protecting plates. Uh, they have their swinging and sliding security uh, lock type doors, uh, locks I should say. Very much like a police lock. If you look up that term, this is like a vertical police lock. So as we continue to scroll through, let's just do a search for HIT-145. And we'll get to the page where we can find that. The point is we're now in that same catalog section. And as we continue to scroll through, you're going to see lots of other items that are here. Um, and you'll end up discovering, ultimately, if the parts exist for what you want to prep. Now, in the beginning of the section, which I'll scroll back up to, is the index. Okay, the lock manufacturer, type of hardware, and then the template number. So let's scroll down to Schlage, since we're doing Schlage. So the Schlage AD cylindrical, they only offer that in the HIT 145. So there's not another option of going about doing that, um, is the bottom line. But if you're doing Schlage L series, the mortise locks, there's a couple of different ways to do that. The HIT 66 system, the HIT 45 system will allow you to do that stuff. Now the HIT 66, is basically a clamp system, and there's going to be lots of those. The HIT-66 is the clamp system. You get that clamped onto the door, and then onto the clamp system itself is what you're going to attach the templates to. You'll screw these templates to it. Okay, And I think the Schlage is a HIT-66-282 for the L-series, so we'll scroll down to 282. There it is. Schlage L series. 
Let's do a search again and get back to the index. And we also noted that they had a hit 45 SL1. There it is. Now this hit 45 goes, uh, hit 45 SL1 goes with the hit 45 clamp. The hit 45 clamp should be shown right up here. There it is. So now the HIT-45 is a different platform. You can screw those templates to the face here. You can also screw to the edge of the door, ultimately, the prep that will give you the eight by inch and a quarter edge preparation. So a, a very well-suited platform for doing aluminum storefront or wood doors. So Major has done an exceptional job at laying out the tools available for the work that you want to do, and it's based on them being quite expert in terms of knowing how to go about doing it. These folks over there have clearly drilled lots of doors, and they've got the tools to prove it. So this catalog is one of, uh, you know, discovery, really, that you can invest time into, finding the different parts that you need. Now, if you find that navigating this is just something that you don't have time for and you have a question, reach out to us. Uh, we ought to know the answer. If we don't, we'll contact Major and make sure that you're getting all the parts for this project. All right, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, I find the Major uh, series of templates, of which I've re reviewed my share of them, uh, to be very well engineered, uh, very well made, very much investment quality tools. I may or may not agree on the decision to purchase a template, um, but I understand why people would decide or elect to purchase one or to not to. I have prepped doors with every conceivable type of approach, just by hand with the wrong tool, all the way up to having a CNC programmer program that multi-axis router for me to drill all those holes. So I've done it, everything in between. I've prepped for every type of hardware as well. Everything from your lowly, you know, butt hinge all the way up to, well, olive knuckle hinges, all the way up to overhead concealed stops and holders, function holes for, you know, mortise locks, exit devices, things of that nature, door viewers. The worst for me was the olive knuckle hinge. That really baked my noodle because the template doesn't really strike a center line for, that will make sense. Um, so you really have to, I really had to study that one long and hard before I started. It took me an hour before I decided to put the router to the door. Um, mm -hmm. But nonetheless, it came out perfectly and studying the templates will generally do that. Having the hardware can be nice, there's no doubt. Um, the second best uh, friend to the woodworker, in my opinion, is the caliper so that you can do a reality check on everything that you do. Templates are, almost never wrong. I mean, literally, almost never wrong. I have seen ones that were wrong. I've called the manufacturer two or three times in 30 years and said, you want to double check that? And like, you're right, you've discovered an error. Thank you very much. So it's handy to double check, but the potential for encountering a template error is quite, uh, quite rare. But it's nice to be able to check that. But with the HIT 45, the HIT, the, um, hit 145, N for the AD series locks the cylindrical. It's easy. Drill them holes. If you're doing the door position, hit that, and then you're done. I had a client not very long ago order uh, an entire system for doing Schlegel series mortise locks. He had 10 aluminum doors to do. I discussed with the client at length because it may have been an office function. So you'll have a cylinder on the outside. You'll have a thumb turn on the inside. You'll have your spindle hole, your through bolt holes. Um, not a lot of function holes, but he also had to prep the edge of the door. And I spoke with the client at length, here's my approach, how I would go about prepping it if I didn't have the template. But the client insisted on the template, and at 10 doors, I don't disagree um, that I would certainly be investing in the tool because that's a lot of measuring to do. And you want to, like I said earlier, I use the term ritualize. Ritualizing the process with a template like this allows you to eliminate the human potential for error. So when you're just clamping and drilling, you're ritualizing it, and you're not having to think about, did I put that in the proper location? 
I would suggest that you review their catalog, and if there's anything uh, that still remains a mystery, please feel free to reach out to us. My name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. Thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.